Welcome to One Brooklyn, presented by Brooklyn Borough President Eric L. Adams. On this edition of One Brooklyn, Brooklyn Borough President Adams headlines his third annual Central Brooklyn Arts and Culture Weekend with a Welcome Back to Brooklyn ceremony that bestowed an engraved paver along the Brooklyn Botanic Gardens famed celebrity path. And he also presented a key to Brooklyn, the Grammy Award winning rapper, actor, model, and record producer Antonio Hardy, better known as Big Daddy Kane, a world famous son of Brooklyn. Since 1985, more than 160 Brooklynites have had their name inscribed on this famous walkway. Those who have gone on to make outstanding contributions in art, business, film, literature, music, sports, and more. The presentation was one of the highlights of the Central Brooklyn Arts and Culture Walk, a family-friendly celebration taking place along Eastern Parkway from Flatbush Avenue to Washington Avenue. A special Welcome Back to Brooklyn ceremony was held for Big Daddy Kane inside the Brooklyn Botanic Garden. You know, people often talk about the great uh, novel that says the tree grows in Brooklyn, but when you dig into the crevices of our history in Brooklyn, you notice that great people have also grown in Brooklyn. There's a great cross-pollination of ideas and artistic expression that is amazing. You know, when you look at the name of people for, um, f that have actually evolved from Brooklyn, uh, it just, you know, really sends a strong message, and Big Daddy Kane is one of them. Um, so the Celebrity Path, for those of you who don't know, was started more than 30 years ago um, in a partnership with then Brooklyn Union Gas, which is now National Grid, with uh, one of Eric's predecessors, Howard Golden, former borough president, and the Garden. And since then, we've uh, nominated and inducted 165 daughters and sons of Brooklyn, uh, onto the path, there are all kinds of people, actors, musicians, painters, performers, writers, directors, poets, producers, and even a few sports legends. The main criterion is that these are people that got their start in Brooklyn and achieved fame outside the borough and brought distinction to our great borough through their work. Last year, we were delighted to welcome Jean-Michel Basquiat, the famous painter, as well as Fabulous. And this year, we're thrilled to induct Antonio Big Daddy Kane Hardy. <laughs> Coinciding with the 30th anniversary of his debut album, Long of the Cane. So it is now my enormous pleasure to introduce our borough president. Let's again welcome Eric Adams. Thank you. I remember the first time someone said it, Tony, I said, what are you talking about? Big like Daddy Kane. <laughs> you know, uh, and just want to thank our team, uh, Ingrid and her team, for doing this art. The significance of the moment, uh, you know, there's so much debate that is taking place when you look throughout the city and you don't, you don't see the diversity and reflection of the full makeup of the people who make up the city. You don't see their names and statues, you don't see their faces on plaques. And there's just a belief that folks have walked through here and never made any real contributions. And as an African American borough president, it is my responsibility and obligation to make sure that those legends of Brooklyn must have a permanent way of identifying their contributions. Because if I don't do it, who will? And we cannot do a better job in ensuring that our young people know the contributions that we've made long after uh, our departure. Uh, we had the first rapper who was inducted several uh, years ago, about I think two years ago, and we want to really thank Scott for understanding the importance of diversity, not in only trees and plants, but diversity in the people. The cross-pollinations of culture is unreal. And what rap has done um, from the halls of uh, some of our public housing to the halls of some of our schools to Brooklyn, um, Bronx, uh, Manhattan, uh, it has not remained isolated in the geographical boundaries of America. Rap has transformed the entire globe. Everywhere you go on the globe, uh, they are duplicating the style, the walk, the dress, the lyrics, the music. Uh, it is a global phenomenon that can only be equated to what jazz did in forcing people to integrate and think outside the box. And so no one has done it uh, better and no one has done it larger uh, than the man that we know affectionately as Big Daddy Kane. Yeah. Yeah. 
great brother, you know, his whole spirit and energy. He transformed the industry before the uh, some of our rappers who are now in entertainment, uh, Big Daddy was doing it. Before folks were talking about clothing and using the style of dress, Big Daddy was doing it. When folks were walking around saying they wanted to wear their jewelry, Big Daddy was doing it. Artistic, lyrics, just smooth. I think he's responsible for more babies being made in America than anybody else. <laughs> Big Daddy had the lyrics and the, and the tone, you know, and just the way he handled his, his business. When I came in, I said, I got to find LaShawn. You know, because I saw LaShawn, when you were performing at Wingate, LaShawn said, you got to give me tickets for Big Daddy K. She's sitting behind you. Please make sure you take a picture with her before we leave. <laughs> you know? So, when you look at the notables who are here, uh, these symbols, you know, this has been a place where Howard Golden understood years ago, Marty continued, and now as the ball president, I'm going to continue that spirit. We have folks here from Mel Brooks, Mary, T Mary Tyler Moore, Rosie Perez, and the great legendary Jackie Robinson has been here as well, has a leaf that's here that's permanently part of the edifice of this beautiful place, this beautiful garden. This key to Brooklyn is just given to those who give back in a real way, and that's how we feel about Big Daddy Kane, also known as Antonio Hardy. 30th, 30th anniversary, 45th anniversary of rap, but 30th 30 anniversary of a performer that just as tight and right and as affable as ever before. I saw him uh, Friday over at um, the Coney Island, Coney Island Amphitheater, and he just had folks in the audience, young and old, who understand the movement of his music. Folks did not want to leave, and it was a great energy, the way he continued to communicate using his lyrics. Born in best style, right. uh, do or die for the music, yeah. do or die for the lyrics, and he has really personified that energy. Grammy Award winning rapper, actor, record producer, producer, model, and just continue to transform himself as time moves on. He has revolutionized hip hop fashion and how folks wear the music from everything from the rope chains to the gold rings to the four rings on the finger. <laughs> uh, just a real legend. Uh, we, are, we are so proud that more than a tree grows in Brooklyn, a dynam dynamic entertainer <laughs> grows in Brooklyn, a community person grows in Brooklyn, a person with spirit and energy yeah. grows in Brooklyn, yeah. a person that personifies what Brooklyn represents. And I don't care where you go, we say over and over again, there's only two types of Americans, those who came from Brooklyn and those who wish they could. Big Daddy Kane came from Brooklyn. We continue to be the great leader that you are. So on behalf of all Brooklynites, we salute you with this proclamation and this great key to the ball of Brooklyn to our good friend, mentor, great rapper, Big Daddy Kane. We also have First of all, today is my birthday also. Thank you. His manager, Saquon, invited me to this, and I told him what I wanted to do on behalf of Full Force to our brother right here. And I said, yo, man, that's my birthday. What better way on my birthday to spend participating in something like this for Big Daddy Kane, who we love so much. We're from Brooklyn. He's from Brooklyn. So Kane, I got something for you, brother. And just to let y'all know, I was born in St. Thomas, Virgin Islands. And Big Daddy Kane also comes from one of the islands, Rikers. Now listen, <laughs> so listen, I'm just kidding. Y'all know me, you know me from house party, so you know I'm just kidding, right? So here's what we got. It's a beautiful plaque, but more importantly, these beautiful words. It's a full force plaque. In appreciation to Big Daddy Kane, from Brooklyn Brothers to Brooklyn Brother, and from peers to peer, your trailblazing accomplishments in the field of entertainment 
ain't no half stepping. <laughs> may you keep on keeping on, and may you knock down any negative doors. May all the positive and optimistic things in life forever be yours. We have nothing but love, support, prayers, and respect, which are scenarios that will always last. May you make every day your very house party and just keep kicking some freaking ass. We love you. So we're going to turn it over now to the man himself, the hour, Big Daddy Kane. Um, I actually wanted to start this off, you know, just telling you a few things about myself and my career and my journey. But Eric pretty much said everything. There's not much left for me to say. But, um, I'm honored and I'm humbled and I think this is something beautiful because um, anything I've ever done in my life throughout my career, I always had um, Brooklyn at heart. Anybody that know me on a personal level know that, you know, I still got a 718 cell number. <laughs> that's, how, that's how real it is for me. Because so much that I learned, you know, on these Brooklyn streets, you know, about life, about music, you know. I mean, I can still remember my first block party. I was probably only like around seven or eight, you know, hearing the DJ play Love is the Message and seeing cats line up to rhyme, you know, with the old school, um, the, at the age of one, my life begun, those raps. And I mean, that's how much Brooklyn has meant to me on so many different levels. So to actually be here today, receiving these accolades and in the presence of this brother, this brother, and this guy over here, <laughs> I mean, it's a beautiful thing. And Dan, I don't know where Dan went, but um, I mean, it's, 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 it's a beautiful thing. And I'm just happy and I'm honored. And it's like, it's almost, almost a perfect day. Only thing that would have made it perfect is if Boleg Lou would have gave his speech with the Jerry Curl and the Riff <laughs> But other than that, this is wonderful. I thank you all. Good luck in Brooklyn. So let's lift the glasses, give a toast to our brother, Big Daddy Kane, you know, from Brooklyn, USA. Thank you, brother. Congratulations. Many, 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 many years more. Thank you very much. Oh, it's so important, you know, when you look at the greats here, Jackie Robinson, um, Beth Miller, who we honored, uh, just a continuation of showing not only the artistic expression in Brooklyn, but also show the diversity of that expression. And we want to continue to show that diversity as the argument continues to unfold about ensuring that the names and faces and statues and permanent edifice are reflective of the diversity of the borough. We want to continue to do our contribution as the borough president. We have so many complaints about statues being put up and don't reflect the diversity of the city. As my role as borough president, I have an obligation to make sure that Brooklyn statues and edifice are permanently shown the contributions that all has made, have made in the city. No one has done it better than the rap industry. The rap industry has transformed music like jazz across the entire globe. No matter where you go globally, people watch and see what is happening here through rap. The king of doing it is a man who has really transformed the industry through acting, through clothing, through his lyrics, through his style, through his grace. No one give it up for Big Daddy. <laughs> Keto, Keto Brooklyn. We also have a permanent paver that's in Brooklyn Botanical Garden where his name would be laid to rest for all to see in the garden, permanently showing our brother from best style, do or die, never run from the music, Big Daddy Kane. Brooklyn, what's up, y'all? I'm honored, man. I'm honored, and I'm humbled, man. 
and I truly appreciate each and every one of y'all coming out to show support, for real, you know? Truly appreciate it. Huh? Oh, thank you, baby. I'm glad you came to that, too. Coming from Brooklyn, you know, this is, you know, a true honor, and it's like, you know, with me, wherever I'm at around the world, I'm always in that Brooklyn state of mind, you know, because every life lesson that I've learned, you know, about the you know, streets, music, or what so have you, it came from Brooklyn, you know? So, this is what, this is my home forever, you know what I'm saying? And I love you all. Give it up again for Big Daddy Kane. You know, I was, I was, I was, I was asked to come down here and, oh, you got, thank, thank you. I was asked to come down here and speak to my people, you know, and accept. I just got through working Wednesday, baby. You want me to work on my day off? Oh, 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 y'all want me to work on my day off. Hey, you know, only because it's Brooklyn. Give me something. I take the cake, what you can't get a crumb from the poetic, authentic, superior, ultimate, and all that good ish. I'm being original, Asiatic, acrobatic, then you have it, like it's dramatic. Great drama when I'm on the scene, and I pack a mint mean, like Bruce Springsteen. I'm a fire, my style, the smile of meanwhile. Put on trial, the rap, I'm the exile. Make it tumble and stubble, and the bubble just crumble, and I'm still calm and humble. You need another helping hand to swing on. I stand alone, but still you gotta bring on. Batman and Robin, Cagney and Lacey, Starsky and Hush, still can't fix me. If I may make this one thing here clear For you not to come near Period Who I ain't bugging or delirious My swift tongue's like a sword That's how severe it is I can slice and dice and fish and price MC The 40 was nice into the minute rice Single hand that I ain't with that band stuff See scratch a record like flakes and dandruff And the mic got ravaged Not like a savage In my own way of doing damage As I can find a genuine line Who flat top rude in 89 Thank <laughs> you.